All right, now let's do an example. Uh, I'm going to do an example in R2 because it's just simpler to write down. This works in any RN, and we're going to think about it in R3 for the roller coaster. Um, and we've got a point, this, we've got a curve that starts at 0, 0. This doesn't look very good. It starts out going vertical, in other words, towards 0, 1. Let's say that's the, new, the next control point. Then it ends up at 1, 0 as if it came from 1, 1. Very simple example. Okay, so let's just write it down, R of t. It's 1 minus t cubed times the vector 0, 0. Oh, okay, which happens to die, because I'm starting at the origin. Plus 3t times 1 minus t quantity squared times 0, 1, that other control point there, plus 3t squared, 1 minus t, times 1, 1, plus t cubed, 0, 1. Okay, so let's just figure out the components there. It happens to be that this one doesn't contribute in the first component, the x component. So it's just going to be 3 t squared 1 minus t plus t, ooh, that's a 1, 0. Haha, -ha. hopefully you noticed that already. Plus t cubed. And then here it's all 3 added together. 3 t 1 minus t squared plus 3 t squared 1 minus t plus t cubed. Okay, and then you could just actually multiply all that out. You're just going to get a couple of cubics. And if you just multiply that out and present it to somebody and say, hey, I think this is an interesting curve, they're going to be like, where did you come up with that? It's weird, okay? And then they might graph it, maybe on a calculator, computer, or applet or something, they'd be like, oh, well, that's some nice properties. Go starts here, goes vertical, ends here, is also going vertical. Oh, funky, how would I have known that? It's because it came from this very nice format. So the, re we we the way we're going to do this, we're going to use this, is that when we're making the roller coaster, I'd like you to, uh, I'm going to require you to use a few pieces that aren't Bezier curves, okay? So maybe the start of the roller coaster, it's going to maybe go up in a helix or something, okay, gain some elevation, and then you're going to want it to eventually maybe have like some really um, steep drop and then level off, something like that. So maybe you have a formula that you've decided gives that curve. And you've got a formula that gives that curve, okay? Well, we'd like to join them up, okay? And it's pretty hard, unless you have a nice flexible technique designed for this, to go ahead and say, okay, I'm gonna take a curve that goes from here to here. Well, you could always do a straight line, right? That's not so hard. But if you did a straight line and you don't match the, the directions correctly, then uh, you're gonna get a non-differentiable function. You're gonna get, a, a sharp corner, either infinite acceleration or they're going to have to come to a dead stop here and turn, and they're going to have to come to a dead stop here if you used a straight line. With the Bezier, we can make it a bit smoother. Not amazingly smooth, but you can go ahead and take this point. If you calculate the velocity vector of your first part of your curve, and then make sure, just pick a point in that direction, use this as your R0 and that as your R1, then that's going to go off in the right direction. And so you'll have something that's differentiable there. And then make sure that you know what the velocity vector of this curve is as well. Extrapolate backwards a little bit, and you can play with how far you go back. That does have an effect on the curve, of the details of the curve. And we can, we can experiment with that. In fact, let me show you on this applet real quick. If I just move this along this direction, you can see it kind of drags it out more. It lets it go further in that direction before it turns. So it does have an effect. I haven't focused on that yet but it does actually have an effect, so you can definitely play with that, okay? Um, but in any case, you can pick your R3 to be the join point and your R2 to be in the opposite direction from the velocity vector of the second curve, and then they will join up pretty well, okay? And then maybe you have another piece that has maybe bumps or something like that, maybe like a sine wave wiggle or something like that, and you're gonna wanna cr connect these guys in a smooth way, but that'd be another Bezier curve. Okay, so that's going to be the process for creating an interesting uh, roller coaster.